Greetings, welcome to another edition of the Discover Me Music podcast from Full Power Music. Today we will be joined by Icarus from Watford, who will be talking about their latest single, Cast Away at Best, which you can check out on the Discover New Music playlist from Full Pelt Music on Spotify. Before we talk to the guys from Icarus, just remember please to subscribe to our social media channels on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Full Pelt Music. And if you're watching the video edition of the podcast, please hit the subscribe button on YouTube. Uh, welcome everyone again to the uh, Full Pelt Music Discover New Music podcast. We're joined today by Richie Howlett um, from the band Icarus, who how from Hello. Watford. Thank you for joining us, Richie. How are you doing? No, it's my pleasure. I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Yes, yes, awesome. Glad to have you on. Uh, really enjoyed your most recent single, Cast Away at Best, which we've included in our Discover New Music playlist over on Spotify. Nice. So we'll talk to you a little bit about that in a minute, but we might as well start at the beginning. So um, tell us about Icarus. Tell us about how you formed um, and where you're from. So, <clears throat> Icarus started when a bunch of us guys, all in the band, we went to college together in Watford um, to study music, practical, and we initially started with a slightly different lineup. Uh, I was on bass guitar, we had a different drummer and a different uh, lead vocalist, and uh, Will wasn't actually a part of our band at this time. And then as the years have gone, the months have gone, um, we acquired a new drummer, we've now got Benjamin Porter. Um, I took the role of lead vocalist and Will came in and did bass guitar. Um, but we started in college, we were, <clears throat> it was part of our course, we were all thrown together as a band, we had to create music um, as part of the course, and we enjoyed it so much, and there was just a bit of chemistry in the band, and all our influences were so similar at the time, um, we just decided to take it further than college, we started writing our own music in our own time, um, we were putting on our own shows in our own time as well, we started doing merchandise, um, and as the line, the line uh, as the lineup changed throughout time, uh, us as people have changed as well, our musical influences yeah. have changed, and um, we just keep trying to get together, write different music, and get ourselves out there, really. How was the transition for yourself from bass player to singer? How did you find that? Uh, it was actually really exciting. Um, yeah. I'd always been playing acoustic and electric guitar since maybe the age of six or seven, and um, coming onto bass guitar wasn't too difficult for me because of that. I already knew how to play guitar, it was just finding the rhythm and the groove of bass itself. Um, but I'd always had this sort of underlying passion of singing. I'd always sing along to songs. I'd always, um, I was really involved with writing like um, as a child. And moving into the singer is a little bit scary because all of a sudden I had yeah. to be the front as well. You know, I'm, I'm the person who interacts with the crowd and everything. You've got to be kind of extroverted for that. But it was a lot easier than I expected it to be. And it's actually, it's quite exhilarating to be fair. It's lovely. It's a good feeling. Obviously, um, yeah, being on the stage uh, is a fantastic feeling, something you've probably not been able to do much over the last year, which we'll uh, touch on yeah. shortly. Um, but along the same theme, you also released some uh, new music back at the start of lockdown, which I assume was probably planned to be released before the world went mad. Uh, so the EP, yeah. Undivided <laughs> Attention, came out in uh, April 2020. Um, how, how was that experience of releasing new music during uh, such a, a unique time? Yeah, it was it was challenging. Obviously, we had no idea what was coming and we had the plan to release the EP on that day already. And then the whole world went into lockdown. It was kind of a, it was a bit of a bummer. We were planning to do some release shows to have almost like a miniature local tour, um, get loads of shows going, get an audience going, have loads of people hear the music for themselves. But everything happened, we were shut inside, but we didn't want... So we didn't want to let that get in the way of our things. We were still online trying to promote the EP, trying to see if there's any way we can get onto different radio shows, different blogs online. Um, just to still, even though we can't go out there and physically perform the music and put on a show for people, we wanted to still get the music heard by people so that they have something to do in this time as well, you know, something extra. Yeah. And the songs also have meaning, and part of the meaning behind the songs is for people to not feel alone and to be, for, to be able to connect with something as well. We wanted people to be able to do that, even though they're not able to see us physically. So it was it was a bit of a challenge, but we were still putting the work in to get it out there and get it around. Did you uh, play a live stream show as well? We did. That was March this yeah. year. We had a live stream show in the cargo rooms in London, uh, put on by Hotbox for us. And recently we just had a show at um, the Spice of Life in Soho, and that was also really good. But yeah, I bet it felt good to, to get back out in front of a crowd again. Um, yes, we've, we're getting some more gigs in now. We've got one coming up soon as well, the 30th of October at Camden Assembly. Tickets should be coming lovely, on very soon venue. online for that. 
That'd be good. Yeah, fans, definitely check that one out. Um, and that'll be an opportunity for you to check out uh, the band's new single as well. So Cast Away at Best has recently been released. Uh, why have you picked that song uh, to commence the next phase of the band after the EP release? Well, it was we've been writing all sorts of little bits. We've got riffs here and there. I've got little sections of lyrics here and there. But that was the song that seemed to come together the most strong, uh, the strongest. And it, the meaning behind the song is, you know, <clears throat> regardless of what people say about you and any flaws and imperfections you might have, quote unquote, um, you are who you are and that's okay, regardless of anyone else. And that's quite a powerful message. It's something that for me, it means quite a lot to me. Um, and I want other people to know that as well. Just whoever you are, that's all right, accept it. And it was quite a defining song for our sound. Writing the EP, Undivided Attention, to start with, we were still finding our sound a little bit. We were just finishing our college course um, we were relatively new musicians, especially when it came to being in a studio and recording. That was all a new experience for us. And Castaway at Best, <clears throat> with the like butt rock uh, riffs and the sort of almost Linkin Parky style vocals, that was sort of somewhere where we were really finding our true sound. That's where we could listen to that and say, for us personally, it's starting to feel unique, as opposed to writing a song that's a bit of this and a bit of that. It's a song that's Icarus. Yeah. And uh, I, I see, yeah, you know, uh, you previously mentioned, you know, that you want to make this band, you know, fun and uh, mm. sort of different, entertaining, and you know, maybe buck a few trends. Yeah, exactly. We don't just want to come on stage and stand and perform our songs. We don't want to make the same song twenty times over either. We want to give someone an experience, even if it's just listening to the music and not being at a show. We still want that to be an experience for the listener. And uh, you touched on the, the meaning behind Castaway at Best. Obviously, it is a very uh, important subject, you know. Uh, how, how did that song form? What was the creative process behind that song? And yeah, what, what does that mean to you? So, like most of our songs, it starts off with the instrumentals being written first. Um, <clears throat> Matt came in with that butt rock guitar riff and quite the catchy sort of eerie one as well. We put the two and two together for a verse and chorus. Um, and as we were building the instrumental side of things with the structure and everything, Ben putting on his drums for it, we're adding the bass. Um, I, I'm listening to the song over and over, trying to get a melody in my head to start with. Um, and I'm listening to the song's energy, trying to feel a vibe. You know, what feeling does it give me? Is it powering? Is it uh, depressing? Is it sad? Is it jolly? Is it uplifting? So I try and figure out the vibe that I feel for that song. And yeah. then I get a melody for that. And as I'm going through it, the words start coming to me and the vibe I got for that song was kind of powering, but almost dark. Like the, the eerie uh, riff in the verses gives that dark vibe to it, which is where the whole lyrics come in. You know, the opening line is one more line just to pick back up the high. It's not a jolly lyric, but the main message of the song is whoever you are, that's all right. You're doing your best. You're trying and you're here. You're human. We all make mistakes. Screw it. You're not a bad person because you have flaws. And that's the empowering vibe that I got from that song. And it just kind of strings together, you know? Yeah, it comes across really well. It's obviously a, a very important subject, something that, yeah, uh, everyone should talk a lot more about. So, yeah, it's... Uh, it's great to, to have, you know, fans willing to, to talk about that subject. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned as well, uh, you've got a show coming up at the end of the month in uh, yeah. London. Uh, obviously, the world, and in particular for us in the UK, is kind of opening up slightly uh, now. And there's still a lot of uncertainty. Uh, what plans have you got in the future for uh, touring uh, and for getting the uh, EP and the, the new single out on the road for people? So obviously we have that gig on the 30th of October, but between now and then it's getting as many gigs as we can to really build an audience and really, like you said, put the show on the road. Yeah. Um, we want to give people a show, we want to bring some entertainment back, especially after a year and a half of boredom doing nothing. We want to really bring something to the scene. Um, but in the meantime, we also want to get writing as well. We've got to move forward while still trying to promote our old stuff. Um, so we're looking at <clears throat> possibly releasing some more music in the future. We're definitely releasing some more music in the future. Um, getting that written and recorded looking at some music videos definitely some live shows hopefully some tours that would be brilliant so uh yeah with the tease there of new music uh, obviously is it the intention uh to you know work towards an album for the band yeah i think we're looking at an album at some point <clears throat> definitely in the future yeah yeah great um it's been great having a uh a chat with you Richie um yeah we've really enjoyed Castaway at Best uh featured on our playlist listeners can uh check the band out 
uh, on Instagram at Icarus UK official and on Facebook at Icarus Band Official. Uh, have you got anything else that you'd like to say for anyone listening on the uh, podcast today? Uh, yeah, a couple of things. So there is also a lyric music video out on YouTube for Castaway at Best. It's also available on uh, major streaming platforms like Apple Music and Spotify. Um, <clears throat> the lyric video is out as well. It's up there. Um, and again, there is that uh, gig that we will have on the 30th of October at Camden Assembly. Any updates, as you said, appreciate it. will be on our Instagram at Icarus UK Official. Um, and we're hoping for it to be a really good show because it's a <clears throat> we're excited to play that venue. It's a good venue. It's a new yeah. one for us. And yeah, we're excited. We think it'll be a really good show. Yeah, definitely. Listeners, get yourself down to that show. Uh, great venue and obviously a great young band uh, on show for you. Uh, thank you very much for joining us uh, on the podcast, Thank Richie. Uh, we wish, wish yourself and Icarus all the best. Um, just, yeah, listeners, make sure to check them out on social media. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us on this edition of the Discover New Music podcast from Full Pelt Music. Thank you to Icarus. We hope you enjoyed that conversation. We'll have more episodes of this podcast coming very shortly. Just another reminder, follow us on social media, subscribe on YouTube and check out the Discover New Music playlist on Spotify.